wanted to get you guys in the ground so you can really grow. Hey Paula, hi Real Women of Philadelphia. It's me, Sandy Shepard from Norman, Oklahoma. It's been raining all morning, but it, now it's all cleared off and it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. And I thought I'd come out and get some planting done. I've got a lot of spring bulbs to plant yet and a bunch more herbs to do. So Paula, you wanted to know, you wanted us to send a video and just tell you how this has changed our lives, this uh, Real Women of Philadelphia competition. Well, I can tell you for one thing, it has changed mine quite a bit in the fact that I now save my sunny days for filming in the house <laughs> and I come out and plant when it's raining. So it, I don't know what I'm gonna do when this competition is over because I'm just gonna have to film everything just because, I guess, I don't know. Film my life in general. The kids would like that, I think, or the grandkids someday. But anyway, this has been, it's been really a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And I can't believe what you've done with this contest. It's just been amazing. Just amazing and all the people that we've met. So I'm just gonna start, this is what I like to do with my spare time. I used to have a nursery and I grew 250 varieties of medicinal and culinary organic herbs. And I really miss doing that, but of course I don't have my greenhouses anymore. I do have one greenhouse, but, um, but I don't really grow in it because I'm not here. I'm working every day in town, so, and I live 20 miles out. So, so anyway, I'll um, just get these in real quick. I've got a lot of dead things here to take out. And Hey, what's this under here? Oh, oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. It's even growing in my garden, and look how big that package, that eight ounce one went from eight to way bigger, way bigger. I better take it in and do something with it right away. Hey Paula, I'm back in my kitchen now, my very favorite room in this whole house. We have a nice cozy little log house out in the country, outside of Norman, and um, it's just real open and airy and a lot of windows and a high ceiling and it's not very big but it is cozy and I really enjoy living here and out in the country away from all the city noises and all of that. Um, I was trying to think of more ways that this contest has changed things around here. Well, I'm cooking a lot, that's for sure, um, and the kitchen seems to stay a little bit cleaner. but. I guess the biggest thing is that in the mornings, I used to get a cup of coffee. I would go turn my computer on, check my email, um, check Facebook, and now I get coffee. I go in, turn the computer on, and instead of checking those things first, I go directly to Real Women of Philadelphia just to see what's going on, see what's been submitted watch a few videos before going to work. Um, it's been so much fun to do this. I mean, the, the, I've never seen so much creativity on one website. I mean, and uh, what would we do without some of these people? I mean, they're, they've just gone over and above, I think. And every recipe on there sounds wonderful. So it has, it's, it's just been great. Um, but I think one of the main things about this contest is at the end of the eight weeks, there are going to be a whole lot of women that feel a big crash because they're not doing this anymore. It has become a, a, a lifestyle, actually, just thinking up and creating new recipes every week, uh, planning ahead, seeing if you can come up with some clever video presentation. It has all just been a ball to do. And I, I just think I need to tell everybody I have been using cream cheese my whole life. I started cooking, becoming interested in cooking from the time I could see the top of the stove. I started cooking at a really young age and as I was a teenager, um, that's about the time period that Julia Child, the French chef program was on and that was like one of the first cooking shows and I used to watch her faithfully and unlike my mom who cooked 
was a good cook, but kind of just didn't go outside of the box too often. Um, I wanted to be a gourmet chef. That's what I wanted to be. So I tried everything. I made cream puffs, and we're not talking instant pudding in those things. Made my own custards, my own chocolate for the top. I mean, just, you know, I mean, I did everything from scratch. And I loved it. I loved French pastry, and I don't think there was anything I wouldn't tackle and try. Um, I even did an anniversary dinner for my parents when I was 14 years old, and it was like a four-course meal with, a, you know, pastries for dessert. So anyway, that was really a lot of fun. And, and um, I, to this day, I mean, I, every holiday, I think Philadelphia cream cheese is the star of the show because I make so many different cheese, uh, cheese balls and dips and things like that for the holidays um, using Philadelphia cream cheese. So I've always been a fan of it and always will be. And I'm glad to see there are some new flavors coming out. I'm going to try those yet before this eight weeks is over. And I think that we're all aware now that the finalists do know before the Wednesday when you post it that they have become a finalist. And it was so funny because Sheila is one of my friends, and when uh, I saw that she had won, I realized that just the night before, she had emailed me just to ask what I was doing, and of course I replied that I was what I'd been doing all week, and just chit-chat about this and that, and uh, I bet she was just dying keeping this secret. I mean, I am so tickled that she made it in. It's nice when there's someone that you actually have a a personal connection with when they actually become a finalist that's really nice I, I mean I don't know some of the other finalists um, at all um, I have watched their videos there all of their stuff looks great but but Sheila is she's real cute she's got a great personality and I know that they're gonna all have a ball in Savannah of course I'd like to be one of those 16 that goes to Savannah that is why I'm doing this so hopefully that will happen. I'll just keep my fingers crossed. Test is over. Hopefully you'll do this again next year, and hopefully you'll keep your um, the Real Women of Philadelphia page up, so that we can all interact throughout the year until the next good contest comes along that you'll be doing again, right? So, but my, my biggest challenge through this whole competition so far has been my filming. Um, I guess my video cam is old and ancient or something. I, it's very frustrating because I'm a graphic artist and I'm on the computer all the time and I, you know, I have to figure out a lot of different graphic software and all kinds of things. I do animation. I, you know, there are all these things that I can do on the, on there, but I can't seem to get a clear, nice video. Um, as you can tell from my past videos, they're just blurry and and it doesn't seem to matter what I do to change a setting. So that's been really frustrating. So if I should happen to get in and end up with some prize money, that would be wonderful and that would be the first thing I would replace. So we'll see if that if I'm so lucky to have that happen. So I'm taking little breaks in between filming this with my iPhone that I'm holding. <laughs> It's kind of difficult to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to uh, think about appetizer week. And, in fact, I'm going to do that as soon as I get this video put together and uploaded to YouTube. So, I'm just trying to think what I could do that would be different and yummy. So, thank you again, Paula. Thank you, Kraft, for this opportunity. This has just been so much fun. It really has been, and it's it's been a whole lifestyle change, and I appreciate it. I needed that in my life right now, I think. I think we all get in a rut sometimes, and and uh, you've just gone all out, Paula, and uh, you're a very special lady. So thank you, and hope to see you in Savannah. Bye-bye.